Hey folks, this is IOE Thor, and we're back with some more Reddit action. So this is almost parkour. This is people doing stunts, parkour, flips, that sort of thing. And almost, but not quite succeeding. So we're going to scroll down to number 19 and start with their unshakable commitment. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, well, that... Oh! Well, it, it start. It, it was really good up until. I mean, that was that that was kind of impressive, and the 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 part where you know um, I mean you know, and then that was just bad. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can top that. Backflip on an upward moving elevator. Uh, I've I've done this wrong. There we go. This is not gonna work for you. And he nicks his toes and then he goes over and he Ah, oh, that's gonna hurt. So this has gotta be his friends sitting here. That's that's another person recording, right? His friends are sitting here recording. That's a beautiful camera, isn't that? That's what that is. And this is what a cell phone video. Yeah, it must be There's somebody else with a cell phone video. And they are gonna record this cool stunt. Except he nicks his toes, so he doesn't go all the way over. And the elver is moving up, so he doesn't get the speed. He doesn't keep the speed, and he just bad things happen. Oh well. Uh I'm just going to parkour over the water. Yeah, when has that ever not gone badly? Oh, this is a cross post from Instant Regret. And we have seen this recently, so I'm just going to do the one playthrough of it. Um, if you want to watch that video, I will try to remember to cross post or um, link it in the description. And it will, it's from about a month ago. In the Instant Regret, yeah. Yep, yep. He thought he was so cool, and then he was just cold. Uh, we're going to skip this because um, that's not safe for work. Not sure if this one counts. Still don't understand the rules of this subreddit. Okay. Well, if you don't understand the rules, maybe you should watch more or read more or something or ask somebody. Okay. So everybody gets. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! <laughs> well then. And that, folks, is why you don't go over the top rope <laughs> in a boxing arena, <laughs> or a wrestling arena, or any kind of arena. The other guys go underneath the rope. Only this idiot decides to go over the top rope. And these guys don't have any idea how to react to this other than laughing their heads off. Because what else is there to do? <laughs> Gonna call the glass doctor. What did you... Oh. Yep. Saw that coming. I mean, it was a great, great stunt right up until the part where you decide to lay back on your back window. I mean, I understand you thought that could support you. But no, there was no way that window was ever going to support you. That was a bad plan all around. Been there, done that. Oh, I like the pun. It's so punny. Yeah, up and over the wall, and then what falls in the bin? Oh, yes, I was right, but that was not the way I expected him to land in the bin. Oh, it's a little trouble going over the wall, and then, oh, yeah. At least they didn't have a lid on that one. That probably could have been even worse. Um, 
I was expecting him to go through the lid, like land, you know, but nope. He lands on the side, so he doesn't go through the lid, and then um, was somehow thinking that the bin was going to was was much heavier, was like filled with concrete or something, because if filled if it was filled with concrete, it would have been fine for him to do that. No, it's filled with air, and he doesn't understand physics, and then bad things happen. Which is, it's ironic that a guy doing parkour doesn't understand physics. But apparently, he doesn't. Well, slippery when wet is the next thing that's up. Posted three days ago, and being this high up, it must be pretty good. We're going to see how good it is. Uh, what now? Yep. Oh. Yep. He missed the edge of the roof. Oh, Lord. So he didn't, didn't get the launch he needed. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. If he had launched, like, if, if this, they'd just replaced this area with sandpaper, he would have been fine. He would have landed squarely, launched from there, and he would have gone up instead of, like, yeah, that is not the position you want to be in when you're launching to a different building. That is the position, like, just, like, on your face. <laughs> you can see him trying to, like, recover it, but there's no way. Yeah, that's, that's just, that's... <laughs> oh, oh yeah, and the next one is called 10 out of 10. Oh. Hmm. Oh! Those poor people. So. He must have seen them when he started his run. Because there's no way he didn't see them when he started his run. Obviously, they didn't see him, because otherwise they wouldn't have been there. This ju this is really a public service announcement. This just goes to show: pay attention when you're walking. If you were, if they were looking straight ahead, they would not be in this situation. Because if they were paying attention, they would have gone. Oh, there's some idiot cartwheeling towards us. Maybe we should get out of his way. Instead, they're on Reddit. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Wait, landing on wet surfaces almost always almost. That feels a lot like this somehow. Oh, well, I mean, he's not in the water, so one could attest that he's it, it's better off than some of the other people we've seen today. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd say that's successful compared to some of the other stuff we've seen today. I mean, he could have landed in, in the drink, or he could have slid all the way off the other end. Like, these are both things that would have been in consistency or in line with everything else we've seen today. So the fact that he didn't end up in the drink, I think that's a good, it's positive. It's, it's building forward. Let me show you a Spidey flip. Okay. I don't think that's how Spider-Man does flips. I'm pretty sure when Spidey does flips, they don't involve that. That, I'm pretty sure, is your shoe. And wait a second. Does she have three feet? Oh, oh, there's two identical women. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Good. Saw this and figured it belonged. Eight months ago, huh? Okay. Whatever you're gonna do is a bad plan. 
<laughs> it would have been a great plan. It would have gone perfectly smoothly, except for the fact where you stumbled right from that. Yeah, and you just went, oh man, just right here. That this this bit of earth right here. I don't know what you were thinking. I don't know, but it was bad. Whatever it was, was not recommended. <laughs> what could go wrong when I <laughs> grabbed this rusty pipe wall parkouring? Uh, well, see, I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this already. Though, you got some skills. I mean, what, you're going to jump to the roof or the pipe? I, the fish out ends makes this look more dangerous than it is, but that that um, that um thing, the beam he's walking on is about the size of his shoe. So it's probably a good, you know, wide beam. Goes to the roof. Okay. And then to the bar and then the bar breaks and almost takes his head out yeah so what we have learned is do not parkour around rusty metal because some of it may not support you anymore idiot is that a bird is that a plane no it's an idiot on the internet this should be hilarious. No. He. So we see him there in a shirt, and then he decides what? Run back, take the shirt off, and then do a flying leap out the window. And what? What was he. Where was he? Where was he gonna land? Is there's a tiny little pile of snow here? Was that what he was trying to aim for? Cause that wouldn't have done anything either. I, you know, kids today. I don't, I don't understand. Okay, we're down to the top five for the last year of almost parkour. It's that ugly hoodie's fault. Yes, blame your tools. Oh! Well, that was a miss. I don't even know why. Um, other than maybe you're not that good. Though, you know, the whole thing where the hoodie just filled with air did make it look a little bit like it, it may have been a wind sail pulling him in the opposite direction. But, um... I'd say before you decide to clear a gap like that, maybe you should get better at this sport. Because clearly, you don't have what it takes to jump a gap like that. And before all you like, maybe you shouldn't be judging, you fat kid. Um, I don't jump things that I know I can't jump. Thus, I don't end up on the internet in these kind of ways. Yeah. I'm smart enough to know where my limits are. They are not jumping six foot gaps. I know that much. Champion long jumper. Okay. Oh, so close. And he gets up. He's cool. I wish we had a better angle on it, but... Uh... Oh... Unfortunately, it is blocked. He's he's good. I don't know where he is, but there he is. Okay, cool. I love how the real thing happens in the first like two seconds of the video, and then the other thirty seconds is is he okay? So he he actually gets a really decent launch. He he launched from right. At the edge. That was about as good as launch as he was going to get. Unfortunately, he's not quite good enough to get over there. 
So unfortunately, he just misjudged how long he can jump for. Which is unfortunate, because that really hurt, I'm sure. But he was walking in at the end, so... It can't have been too bad, right? Messing up the trick in style. I mean, if you're going to mess the trick up, you better do it with some pizzazz. Oh. What? Okay, so I assume he was... Was he trying to do this part? Oh, no. He just he just caught himself and then realized he had managed to hook it. And I was like, oh, cool. I'll just do a spin. Unfortunately, that didn't end well either as he falls off. Uh, at least, you know, the second time he hits the ground, when, when he's over here, he is smart enough to just stay down. He knows he's done. There's nothing else to do. He's just going to stay down. Yeah, that's, that's for the best. The second for the top for the last year is just called doing parkour because that makes sense. This is hardcore parkour. I'm going to jump from that pole to that pole or th that pole onto the rock wall. Oh, that pole. On I don't think this is going to happen. Oh. Mm. Oh. I thought he was going for over here, like, gonna, like, hang. Not, not that he was gonna commit suicide by, mm. Yeah, this, this is cross posted from Instant Regret. And I have no doubt he instantly regretted that. Oh, Lord. Well, if that, um, that hasn't got you, uh, in pain, <laughs> Maybe it's not for you. Top post of the last year for almost parkour. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're not jumping. You're 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 always you're you're, you're stepping. You you missed a step. This is this is a long step. And somehow you miss so badly. Like I don't, I don't understand how you miss this badly. How do you go under? I mean, I get, I get if he overshot that. I, if I was doing something similar, might have overshot it. Cause you want to make sure you get on the ledge. No, somehow he undershot this. And yes, I agree with the uh, the title of this post. Maybe this is not for you. <laughs> Maybe you should just leave the parkour to, you know... Wow, where am I going? You know, it's guys like this idiot. Because at least then, you know, when, when these people do the parkour, then, you know, yeah. The parkour is not for you. <laughs> So, what was your favorite par um, almost parkour for today? Um, I'm going to have to go with messing up the trick with style. He did a good job, and that was the best. Um, that or the idiot stumbles, or is it a bird or is it a plane? That was just, like, sad. Yeah, there is many here that I really, really enjoyed. So, um, whatever is your favorite, if you could just write it in the comments, that'd be great. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time. If you enjoyed any of this, please hit the like button. That helps me out quite a bit. Uh, subscribe to see more. And, of course, I'll see you all next time this IOE throughout.